Okay, salut, it's Alex. So in the previous video, I have shown you how to make a ghetto spiralizer. It was super useful, super dangerous, but super fun uh, using only a speed peeler and a power drill gun. Well, you seem to enjoy this very much, but uh, you were many in the comments to ask me uh, what you could do with it, which recipes you could make. So here are four recipes using spiralized vegetables. Enjoy. If you're asking what this is, it's some stupid tattoo I made. It's nothing, silly boy. One squash pappardelle. I use squash to make white ribbons, a bit like Italian pappardelle pasta. Okay, Italian people, you can now crucify me in the comments. Open season. Boil them for about two, three minutes or until they are almost cooked. Strain, then plate them with Parmesan cheese on top, salt and pepper, a few leaves of basil and a drizzle of olive oil. I really like the squash and parmesan cheese combo. Using vegetables and basil leaves makes it more fresh than rich. At the end, it's different than pasta, of course. You clearly don't get the same bite, but overall, I think it works pretty well. Two, potato frisps. So using my ghetto spiralizer, I did make some potato noodles, which does sound pretty lame. Uh, yeah, I must admit that, but I rebranded them as frisps somewhere in between crisp and fries. In a large and deep pan, heat up a reasonable amount of oil. The temperature we are aiming at is 180 Celsius or 360 Fahrenheit. So if you don't have a digital thermometer, laser gun, non-contact infrared stuff, uh, first off, what are you doing with your life? And second, you can just use a tiny bit of potato, dip it in, and if it sizzles nicely, then they are good to go. But seriously, you need that gun. Cook those in small batches until they reach a nice golden brown color. Season them with salt as soon as you get them out. Let me explain how it works. So basically when you get the frisp out of the oil, they look like this. And they have a thin layer of oil on the outside. After just a few seconds, the oil will be sucked inside the frisp. Yeah, frisp is a new thing. So if you wait too long, the skin is gonna be dry and if you season that, the salt is just gonna fall off. But if you season early, the salt is gonna season the oil outside, which will be sucked inside afterwards. Brilliantly, you just season the frisp. And this is my fridge. Crispy, salty, addictive. I mean, you know crisp, you know fries, this is even worse. Three, stir fry. Vegetable noodles are made for this. I have squash, parsnips, daikon, and zucchini. Keep in mind this simple rule. The more tough a vegetable is, the sooner you should be introducing it to the pan. With that in mind, start on high heat, add a nice coating of oil, drop the squash, parsnips, and coriander stalks. Fry them for two minutes, add a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, daikon and zucchini. Fry those for another minute. Add a tablespoon of any sauce like oyster sauce and another one of water. Top that up with coriander leaves, crushed peanuts and a drizzle of hot sauce. Quick, efficient, it delivers many layers of flavor. You've got freshness from zucchini and daikon and coriander leaves, a bit more body from squash and parsnips, salty crunch from peanuts and the oyster sauce and coriander stems make for the base of flavors. Four, ramen noodles. Now, I know it's like sashimi, but just... So this one requires different levels of commitment. I chose to make my own stock so the long way around, uh, slowly poaching thick pork belly slices in a heavily seasoned liquid. Black pepper, coriander seeds, clove, cinnamon, a drizzle of soy sauce, another one of ketchup because I was running out of tomato puree. To pump up the flavors, add vegetables and those are spiralizing leftovers. I also add an onion with the skin on for the color and a carrot for sweetness. Let that bleep away for about an hour. 
Now in a bowl, place soft and tender vegetable noodles like zucchini or daikon noodles. Pour the broth through a sieve lined with a muslin fabric, aka an old but clean t-shirt. I just want to get rid of any impurities and get a clear, clear stock. Sitting in boiling water for about 2-3 minutes is enough to cook those veg. Add small slices of pork belly, sesame seeds, basil or coriander, any fresh herb really. I absolutely, absolutely love this one. Still very reassuring like a proper ramen and definitely less heavy than egg noodles for example. So of course I made it the long way, but if you start with pre-made stock, then I think it's a five minute job, tops. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed those recipes around spiralizing. If you did, give it a like, thumbs up, and share that over Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you know the deal. Spread it like butter. So I guess the most important in this video is just to get your feedback. I want to hear which recipes you like to make with those spiralized vegetables. If any, last people click subscribe because I make new videos every week and it's mostly about uh, making food more understandable and doable like that no chef challenge I did recently to help you out uh, for the special day for Valentine's Day. Uh, it's a special challenge with nothing. I mean almost nothing and that can be eaten by anybody. I mean almost anybody. So I should have named it <laughs> the almost no chef challenge it would be less punchy so anyway in the meantime take care bye bye Salut.